Hey everyone, Officer Crofts from Gotham 911 here. How are you doing? Um, I've had a, quite a few requests for um, information on my uniform recently, so I thought I'd uh, make a video about it, as it'll probably be easy to do this, um, then uh, write posts. So uh, here we are. Okay, so um, starting from the bottom and working up, um, I have combat boots, which were ex army. Um, I bought them originally for my Ghostbusters uh, costume in 20, 2010, so they've lasted a long fair while, but uh, unfortunately they are falling apart. Um, but next up is uh, the trousers. Um, these are, I don't know how you pronounce it exactly, but it's 5.11 or 5.11 or something on those lines. Um, these are actually paramedic, I think or EMT trousers more than law enforcement and they've just got all sorts of pockets and things. I originally got them for my Raccoon City Police Department uniform um, I just need to replace them because the, one of the clips has gone and yeah, they're, I just, they just need replacing. Working that way up the shirt um, let's, the shirt itself is I can show you in here El Beco. Uh, text, get the light out of the way, oh I can't, um, text drop, um, that was actually recommended or uh, to me via, who was it, um, GCPD UK, that's another group to look out for if you, you need any hints and tips, um, a guy named uh, Joey or a guy named Glenn, they'll be able to help you, and Underneath, I had to have a white T-shirt. Um, next, we got name badge and two PD badges, one on either side. Again, I got them from my Raccoon City Police Department, and I've just transferred them over. Um, I think the film ones are silver. Um, I'm not sure, but it's all good. I like mine gold. So there. <coughs> radio holder, radio mic holder. You can actually. There's a company that makes these, would you believe? And they, 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 I can't remember what they're called, but I did to get in touch and they, they did ship to England. But the price was, I don't know, 20, 30 quid, including postage. I'm like, for really? For, for this? So what I did is got my laptop bag strap and cut a bit off and stuck a key ring holder in it. And there you go. Job done. Um, so Mike <coughs> sits in there via the clip. Uh, badge, <clears throat> you can buy all of this off eBay. Um, I think that's just a standard bar that um, they all have. Um, the badge holder itself and obviously the badge. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get rid of actually saying that. Oh no, I had a brainwave but then I remembered I threw them away. But I will fill them up one day. Um, uh, patch, uh, this again, well, most of it is this is all online, really. I don't think, well, apart from one object, two objects, okay, not all online, but anyway, eBay. Um, there is supposed to be um, uh, a American flag patch on there, but I haven't put it on yet. Okay, working up, um, belt, <coughs> the belt itself is a leather one i did have a nylon one um but i didn't like it and it, again it was for my rpd <coughs> rpd uniform excuse me so i changed that as soon as i could the problem is these leather ones whew, 60 i think a basket weave or even more they, they can be quite expensive i think i got lucky with this one if memory serves um but yeah, they could, the basket weave, I'd love a basket weave one, but um, unfortunately, uh, I don't know if it's, I think they call it basket weave. Anyway, they look awesome, but yeah, um, that's far out of my reach at the moment. Um, handcuffs, now everything on my belt's not in particular order, I've had to just take bits off and stuff, but these handcuffs were a gift to me, and they are genuine 1960s handcuffs, I think, from the British police. So, yeah, not American, but they do the trick. 
Um, belt keepers. These are very important because what you do is you put your belt in normally, and then this goes over, but without these, your belt keeps falling down. Uh, I need new ones, as it turns out. But uh, yeah, these are very important to have. So they slot obviously behind me, you know. Um, so <laughs> if the video is a bit wonky, it's because I'm not concentrating on the video, I'm concentrating on where my hand is. Um, but yeah, they help keep it attached to the belt. Um, then you've got, now those of Ghostbusters origins or fans might recognize some of the bits around here. This is from my GB uniform. It's, um, I can't remember what they called it now. It had some sort of name, but you can, the UK Ghostbusters um, will have hints and tips as to find, where to find them. They're just sort of like D clips or something. Can't remember. But they're just dangly bits, but I've just adapted them and put handcuff key on. Uh, this is, I want to say a mag light holder. I think it's a mag light holder for different size mag lights, but it's perfect for um, my nightstick. This is a fire department. Does it say on here somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if it'll come out. Oh, they possibly be able to see that. Um, it's actually a, a, a fire department piece of equipment. I got this from a couple of uh, friends. Uh, there's actually another one as well. Um, but this is actually for a Ghostbusters uniform. But you know what? I like the yellow on the black. So I'm keeping it on it. But that's completely optional. That's up to you. Uh, <clears throat> this is a pouch for notes and things. Um, that sits on the back. Then you've got the radio. Again, Ghostbusters fans will know that this is a radio from GB. Um, I'm not, I, I like it. I like it. It's, it's from a PD, I think, somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Whatever MPPD is. Um, so actually, it's in service, I'd wager. Uh, more belt keepers. This is... Oh, there's my torch holder. It's a bit tatty. Falling off, look. Okay. More belt keepers. There should be four. Oh. This is actually a canteen holder, uh, a military canteen holder. Um, but I took that out and I've modified it um, by taking all the innards out. So it's just one big pocket. So it's perfect for cons and charity events and things because it means I can put my water in there or my phone or anything, anything that needs holding. I can shove it in there and that is a massive, you know, it's a huge deep pocket I can put in. Uh, more of the dangly bits from Ghostbusters and a pen holder. That is actually a Viper, I think. Yeah. Um, nylon thing, it's wrong way around. Now that I look at it, is it the wrong way around? No. It's not the wrong way around, is it? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a pen holder, I thought. Might be useful. Okay, then on to the good stuff. This is my nightstick. Who were uh, misses? Um, where you actually get these from, I don't know because um, I actually was given this um, as a as a leaving gift. <laughs> but I wasn't leaving. Um, my friend was, uh, well, manager, and uh, yeah. Um, Oddly, because uh, I think we were talking about all this, like uh, I did the Raccoon City Police Department or whatever, and always wanted one of these nightsticks, but never could never find anywhere I could get one. And then he left, and on the, oh, the day he left, he brought me this and said, Here you go. So I'm not going to question anything about it. It's an awesome piece of kit. Um, what else? Now, my first BB firearm uh, was this bread again for RPD Got all the cool actions and things um, I did have a holster for it but the holster has disappeared so uh, recently I got this um, this I've got a holster for I've got two holsters for actually 
um, but unfortunately my holster is left-handed so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I've, I'm ambidextrous when it comes to uh, um, comms and the slightly slightly lower scale shotgun uh, which is also a BB in fact it's a bit wobbly that's not good but anyway so yes that's that is what I have oh and the hat Here we are. Oh, hat. Oops, what was that? Um, this hat, oh, it's a New York style cap. Uh, I did have one, I've got actually another one of these, I got it off eBay, they're quite good. Um, I don't know exactly where this hat or badge came from because um, somebody had bought it and was doing a, a uniform but unfortunately had to sell it on so I bagged the hat because at that point I hadn't got the hat badge. So I mainly bought it for the, the badge, but but that's the uh, that's the hat, uh, and that's everything. I will link what I can um, in the description. Um, but as I say, most of this I got online. The firearm, I've got firearms. Um, that was from a military surplus store. So so was this, and that. Say that was a gift so I can't help really with those all I can say is just shop around and uh, remember well, <laughs> um, cheap ones don't always work out well, let's just say that but yeah so that's my uniform hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you all soon